guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to see how I created this spooky witch face paint, then keep watching. Okay guys, to start off with I'm going to go into this split cake palette and I'm going to go into this one which is like neon green and yellow and it goes into purple. And this is a one inch flat brush. I start off just past the centre of my forehead and curve round to my eye. Okay, so I've just painted one line round, a line up from the cheek, and then I've just added some extra swirls of the split cake. And then now I'm going to paint a cauldron on the cheek, so you'll just need a black paint and quite a small paintbrush to do this. I'm going to use my Diamond FX Black and a round number four brush. So I'm just painting like a curved kind of C shape for the top of the cauldron. And then like an oval shape underneath that's a bit bigger. And just some little legs coming out of the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to use this witch stencil. I think I got this from like eBay or something. Um, and if anyone tells you that using a stencil is cheating, say, no, actually, it's more difficult than painting because that's kind of what I think. It really stresses me out using stencils. But I'm going to do it anyway for this design. So I'm going to get a little sponge and get some black paint on it, but you don't want it to be too wet with the stencil, you want it to be a bit dry. Ooh, scary. <laughs> She's come out well though, the little witch with the black cat on the broom. So the next step, this is a really easy design. I'm just going to go into this neon green paint and this is just Diamond FX Neon Green, it's a really good one and I'm just going to add some extra bits to the design. To start off with I'm just going to paint inside the cauldron so it's all green. And just blend that in with the rest of the potion coming out and then I'm going to add some swirls coming out this way as well. Just like that. Where there's a few spaces around I'm just going to use the green paint and add some like bubbles coming out of the cauldron. And last but not least, we're going to add a little bit of white to the design. I always think sometimes I take it a bit too far, so I'm just going to be really simple and add some little highlights and not too much. I'm going to add highlights around this rim where there would be a natural highlight and then some onto the cauldron as well. I'm just going to add some little uh, clusters of white dots around and a few starbursts as well, but nothing too much. To glitter or not to glitter, am I actually be unlike me and just add some extra fine glitter on top this time. 
So I have a pot of iridescent, just fine glitter. Just to add a bit there. Actually, I might add a little bit of black to the cauldron and the witch. So I'm going to use a bit of aloe vera gel just to apply that. Okay guys, this is the finished look. As you can see, that was really easy to do and simple. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.